Hi, this is the disembodied voice of Sean from Popsci.com, and my disembodied hand is holding the Samsung W7900, uh, a very sexy cell phone premiering first in Korea and we hope soon in the U.S. Um, among its main distinctions, probably the biggest is that it has a built-in projector, but that's just the start of it. First of all, it has a gorgeous screen, uh, an OLED screen, which shows perhaps not in this video, but in real life, gorgeous color, fantastic black levels, eye-popping contrast. Um, it's probably the most beautiful screen I've seen. Um, it carries over a Samsung uh, tradition of having these programs as widgets, uh, which are sort of in this menu bar here. And you can grab any one you want. Uh, for example, here I can change, I can go through here and look at different screen, color, uh, screen patterns. So maybe I'll switch over to the greenery there. Okay. Uh, you've got some pretty standard programs you'd expect to find. For example, you've got an alarm clock. You have calendar program. Uh, you have games, and if you hear the squeaking on the screen, you can tell right now that this touch screen is not a capacitance touch screen like on the iPhone. Unfortunately, it's a resistance screen that requires a little bit of pushing to make it work, but it does work. And Let's try the dice game. Oh yeah, you have an accelerometer too, too just like you do in the iPhone. Pretty fun. Uh, and then you get into some pretty, I guess only in Korea applications. Uh, this one I sort of love, although it kind of disturbs me. Um, it is a program to track how long it's been since your last drink. So, say I decide to go on the wagon tonight, I'll start my clock today, first day of stop drinking. Yes, I want to end that. Now, the most fun, of course, is multimedia options on this. So I'm going to go to the menu for that. We have um, a 5 megapixel camera that actually takes pretty good photos in our tests. We got surprisingly good images, uh, even in fairly low light. We have, well, if you're in Korea and you have the service, you can make video calls. Um, you may be able to see there's a little tiny camera right here, which is in addition to the, uh, the big camera in the back. So with that, you could be making video calls if you're a lucky Korean with that service. Uh, of course, we here are not. Uh, you also have, if you're in Korea, digital TV. And of course, U.S. carriers have that as well, so that's something that could happen on this phone if it came to the U.S. We're probably not going to get a uh, Korean broadcast right now here in New York. Uh, you have, best of all, of course, you've got music, you've got a memo application, uh, most interesting though probably is when we get into the album which contains all the media that you can play on this device. I'm going to select from the uh, external card that I installed. It's a little uh, micro SD card with two gigabytes on it. You can display photos. Uh, this might not come out so well on the uh, recording but it's a uh, clip from the new uh, Watchmen movie which is finally coming out. Yay! Also, you can, this can be a business device, and you can show PowerPoint presentations on it. And with a little luck and a little flick of the finger, you can also slide through your different, move through your different slides here. And the phone has a pretty competent video player as well. This, I think, is a clip from Madagascar. Check. 
Now, the images are gorgeous on this screen. It's probably the best looking cell phone screen I've ever seen. Um, but you're not limited to that, of course. There's a button on the side. Give it a press. And your projector's on. So now you go from this small screen to a somewhat larger screen. I'm probably projecting about 12 inches across right now and in a very well lit room. And actually it's, it's pretty viewable, it's quite viewable actually. Now if I kick off the lights, we can take this image a lot bigger. I'm probably projecting 40 or more inches right now. Uh, this is the Samsung W7900 or the show. It comes out soon in Korea. We don't know when yet in the US, but I for one hope it comes out really soon. This is Sean with PopSide.com.